Infrared, your simple introduction to IR and how you can save energy in your home. A little bit about myself. I've been a home inspector since 1996, having personally performed over 6,000 home inspections and 1,000 energy audits. I am a certified level 2 thermographer. I'm an ICC code certified building inspector. And I am a certified HERS energy rater. You can see my full resume online at unitedinfrared.com. Oh yeah, I'm the father of two energetic children as well. Let's start with a few slides of the basics. IR theory. Infrared thermography. Infrared radiation is not detected by the human eye. Infrared instruments sense infrared waves, or in other words, heat. Objects with temperatures above absolute zero produce some form of infrared energy. The amount of radiation is temperature related. As the temperature increases, so does the radiation. In other words, C what we cannot see. An infrared camera allows you to do this. Residential energy surveys. Once upon a time there was no real estate agents. There was no mandatory home inspections. There was no mandatory termite inspection. There was no mandatory well or septic inspection. There was no mandatory radon inspection. Currently there is no energy inspection but that's going to change. The cap and trade bill. Section 201, greater energy efficiency in building codes. It amends the Energy Conservation and Production Act to establish upon enactment and in 2014 targets for improved energy efficiency so that the building codes will achieve a 30 and 50 percent reduction in energy use in new buildings. Further reductions will be needed thereafter any new building will need to be certified as energy efficient. In the near future, purchasing a home with an energy certification or inspection will be the same as having a radon or termite test. It just needs to happen. And if the building fails, corrective measures will need to be expected. Buyers will first obviously start to ask for this energy audit, and of course sellers will want to ignore it. Why have an energy survey? To reduce your utility bills. You want to be more green? Do you care for the world that we live in? People want to be more comfortable in their homes. Isn't it more than annoying to have the heat up high and yet your feet are still cold? Where does the energy leak? Everywhere. Heat moves from warm to cold. It finds any opportunity to leave the building. It's called the stack effect. An energy survey can locate insulation problems using infrared. It can find the air leaks in a home. It can quantify them with air pressure testing and provide a road map to correct the problems. ResNet has created a new guideline for infrared testing and you'll want to use a properly trained thermographer for the review of your home. What will an infrared camera see? Missing insulation is very common in almost every home. Without infrared, how would you find it? Missing insulation comes in all shapes and sizes. Your bathroom? Wow, there's missing insulation there. How about your attic access cover? Oh yeah, that's definitely missing insulation in that dark, cool area. How about your hallway leading to your bedroom? Yep, right there. That's missing insulation. Adding a blower door test to your IR review of your home is like a marriage made in heaven. Infrared, by nature, is a qualitative survey. It can locate the areas of missing insulation. However, it doesn't put a number on it. Adding an infrared test can quantify the air leakage rate of your home. So it can allow you to see the air intrusion at the location. Does your home feel drafty? This is a medicine cabinet in a bathroom. 
Oh yeah, that's air coming in right there. Would you like an infrared survey of your home? Having an IR scan of your home will allow you to see where your utility dollars are going. The results from improvements will be immediate. If you have any questions, you can give us a call. Happy to answer anything and help you save energy in your home. Thanks for listening in.